Hello beauties. So the practice I want to share for those of you that have a womb, a womb carrier. Um, and this can be a physical womb, it can be an energetic womb as well. So any, anyone that identifies strongly with that, that organ, um, either physically carrying it or subtle, in the subtle realm, carrying a womb. And so we want to connect to this womb, uh, especially in these seasons of the winter months. It's always a good time to connect to the womb, really. But there's a special magic I want to speak to um, in the winter. And this is this energy of the tomb womb. And this is that, that portal of life and death. This is that, that place that we return to when we die, when we shed our bodies, when we go to sleep at night, when the sun sets, we return to that mystery, that fertile void. Um, and, and in that place, we dissolve. Like it's a, it's a potent place to kind of unravel, to unbecome, to undo ourselves. And it's a potent place to undo and unravel karmic patterns, uh, mental patterns, emotional patterns that are maybe getting in the way of living how we want to live. So the darkness has a tendency to just sort of pull those things from us that we don't need anymore without us even really needing to consciously know what's happening. Darkness has a wisdom. And so when we allow ourselves to drop into that tomb space, it's like the womb space naturally rises and the womb, the tomb being death, the womb being a place of birth, a place of fertility, a place that nourishes and nurtures and allows life to bloom. And so when we really fully allow ourselves that death, and, and this is something we sometimes don't want to do, right? Because we're afraid that it's going to somehow remove us from life that we're gonna stop living, that we're gonna stop really enjoying, that we're, we have to say goodbye, and, and sure we do sometimes. <laughs> um, but what happens in that tomb womb is the more we surrender to it, the more we surrender to the darkness, the knowing darkness, the wisdom, the medicine, the magic <laughs> that's there, <sighs> we naturally feel like when there's an emptying out, like that full, emptying out it's almost like a it's like when you empty all your breath out and then you allow yourself to fill again it's incredibly potent to allow ourselves this full process when the inhale finally comes it's so juicy you know it nourishes all the cells in our body so much more because we're getting a fresh dose of that oxygen and the same is true in this tomb womb we fully give ourselves to that death the life that comes from that place from the fertility of everything we've been composting that life is so vital so strong and it's so saturated and soaked in like the essence of our soul the essence of something beyond like something unnameable you know you know when someone's creating from that place it has a different flavor you can't quite put your finger on it but it's coming from some some deep place and so um, we're going to do a practice right now for the womb. Connect to that womb because when we anchor into that, the physical organ of that death and rebirth, it brings it into the body so deeply. It becomes less of a logical intellectual experience and more of an embodied reality that we get to take with us through our day. Um, and it just becomes more real. It's more tangible. It's um, and it's there's a bliss to it, a pleasure that can rise in the body, in the womb, when we connect to this. And so we're gonna do a practice uh, to really empty out and fill back up. This is a really potent practice to connect to that womb as well as a, um, a cosmic cauldron of creation, I like to say, or quantum cauldron of creation, wherein whatever we name, we can speak things into existence. We can like drop seeds of, of intention into that womb space, into that tomb womb, into that fertile void, and they ripple out in every direction. So this is a potent, um, 
practice if you uh, have intentions that you want to be setting for yourself, for your world. Hmm. If you want more of this, um, I'm leading a journey for the uh, winter solstice, uh, the tomb womb journey, and it brings us through this entire journey more in depth. We follow Inanna's descent, this Sumerian epic poem, this goddess who descends into the underworld and rises again, more magical and more herself than ever before. <laughs> you can find out more on my website, uh, but for now, enjoy this practice. So the hand position for this practice is a downward pointing triangle. The thumbs connect at the belly button, the index fingers connect right about at the space of the womb. And you'll come all the way down onto your back. The knees can be bent, soles of the feet to the earth, and the hands in the downward pointing triangle right on your low belly. And this mudra anchors your awareness and your attention into your womb space. And you're going to begin a breath pattern. On your exhale, you'll press with the fingertips, the index fingers pressing gently into the womb and allowing all the breath to empty. At the bottom of the exhale, you'll hold the breath out. Bask in the emptiness, feeling the complete release of your breath. This creates a vacuum. On the inhale, drawing that breath up from the earth into the womb and suspending the breath in. And then exhale to repeat the breath. The pattern of the breath can be a six second inhale, six second hold, and six second exhale, six second hold on the exhale. At the bottom of that exhale, really emptying out. This is where you get to meet that tomb, that death, that release deep release into the earth, into the void, into the mystery. Swimming in that deep mystery as you hold the breath out. And then on the inhale, imagine your womb, your body, your pelvis filling with light, filling with magic, with love, with cosmic energy, nourishing. So you can continue this practice as long as you like. And when you finish, letting yourself have some space to integrate. So really feeling the effects of this practice, noticing the sensations in your body, allowing yourself to surrender and feel and sense the spaciousness of the tomb womb.